Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Who are you? My name's Alex. What are we going to do today, Alex? Let's tell them. We are going to um have this pot can, and, let's, and this torch is going to blow a big black spot on the side. And as it grows, when it gets too big, there's enough air, and it'll just pop, and this whole can will fall on its body, half at the bottom. Okay, well, that sounds interesting. So tell me a little bit about this burner we're going to use. He has this bell bell and a needle bell down there to control um, how much propane falls down from that end and here to this burner. The burner's in there. Right. We'll give him a we'll give you guys a close-up shot of that here in a second. What's interesting though is this is now burner version 2.0. We made some upgrades, didn't we? What did we do? Um my dad um, put a smaller nozzle hole inside this big nozzle hole so we build up more pressure and get a blue flame. Because it sucks so much more air through it, it now. It sounds like a jet engine. It does sound like a jet Let's engine. Let's go ahead and fire it up. So what, he's right, but what I did was I actually found this book online, a snippet called like Gas Burners for Propane. I think Michael Porter was the author. You should definitely check out this book. And what I did was, that's right, I, I learned in this book that the gas needs more time to mix with the air, and so I had to, a 9x is what the book recommends, nine times your uh, tube diameter is how far you need before you actually get to your nozzle. So I had to move my nozzle back inside the tube 10 inches to get the 9x that I needed. I also, as you can see here, I did away with the traditional 3 8 end cap uh, because it restricted the airflow too much past. The burner, the old burner worked, but this burner's a lot better, as you'll soon see. This now... It's a lot louder when you get it. That's right. I cut the head off a bolt, and then tapered it, and then drilled through, and I actually ended up tapping the inside and installing this MIG tip, because I simply couldn't... If you tried to drill a tiny, tiny hole in steel, you know that it's really hard to do without breaking your bits. So what I did was I simply tapped the inside of this bolt, and then threaded this 030 MIG tip on, and it seems to work just fine. So, Alex, you ready to fire this thing up? All right, let's show the neighbors how this works. First, we're going to light this. Okay. The pilot light. That's our pilot light. That's and right. And we're going to shoot it from okay. down here, and it's going to expand a black dot, and it's going to... Okay. Here we go. Pilot light's on. All right, pilot light's ready. Burner's on. Light me. Aluminum cans like nothing. This puts out so much more heat. It goes like, like I was telling you, the black spot grows and, and eventually it pops as it turns to liquid. That's right, man, it just it liquefies it and it has no strength left. Well, so now that we've melted this stuff, we're going to go put this new burner design in the old foundry. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Alex. And I'm Mike Thompson. And thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Let's do it. Okay.